right, y'all. It's what we've been waiting for. We're done with modern. It is time to play some Grixis in standard. So, uh, if you've been following me at all, you know that I was playing a little bit of Jeskai Black at SCG Atlanta, and I did pretty well with that deck. I got third place, so that was cool. But then I saw this deck from the Super Sunday series, and I was like, holy crap, this deck might be better than my deck. So now I have to try it. Um, looking at the deck, not a lot of blue mana. Uh, or, well, there's a lot of blue mana, just not a lot of blue spells. So we have some Jory and Ruin Divers to be a reasonable body and a nice little card drawing engine that I'm pretty excited to draw or to try out. Uh, also have some Jace Vrin's Prodigies in Wandering Fumaroles. Uh, as the rest of my blue cards. Otherwise, this deck is basically just black and red. Uh, but the sideboard has some counter spells, so the blue is kind of necessary if you want to beat stuff like Rally and Ramp, which I kind of want to. So, uh, yeah, this deck is kind of like this mid rangey control deck that tries to turn the corner once you know you're stabilized. And this deck, I think, is better than at better than uh, just guy black at doing that because it has a few more threats. Uh, we have three Kalidas' main deck, and these were expensive. These were like 18 tickets each, 19 tickets each. Um, yeah, and this card is great against Rally. So we have three of these main deck. We have three dresses to try and protect them. Um, that's more relevant in the post-board games, but I don't even think that the rest is like great against Rally. So I'm uh, probably going to be trying to protect it with Dispel and maybe Transgress the Mind. So... Uh, against other decks, you have some duresses to protect them, but against Rally, it's kind of just like play it and hope and pray that they don't have a Reflector Mage that they've been sandbagging or like a Collected Company or something. Because uh, that is, that's kind of your, your main route to victory against them in game one. Other than that, uh, three Kalidas, one Tassiger. Uh, I'm trying to go pretty hard here with Delve cards. Uh, one Tassiger, three Murderous Cuts. I also have 12 Fetch Lands, I believe, yes. And uh, I think those are great. Uh, for triggering Jory N, so that's kind of what we're trying to do there. I also think that without Crackling Doom, you kind of need to lean on Murder's Cut a little harder than you would with something like Jeskai Black. Uh, but this deck is a little more threat dense, so I also want a Tasker. Although uh, it's entirely possible that I play all these games, and I'm just like, God, I need more hard removal for big stuff like Siege Rhino, and then maybe I'll play like another cut or something. But uh, yeah, uh, a couple, a few Dark Dwellers. I guess a couple is technically two, so we'll call them a few. Uh, Dark Dweller is very good with Kolagon's Command. Uh, I only have two of these right now. That number could very easily go up. Uh, I went down on K-Command because I added a second Ruinous Path. Again, pretty scared of big things. That was like the the major issue that I had initially with this deck was just killing stuff like Siege Rhino. Uh, Ruinous Path also takes care of things like Gideon and Ugin. And it's just probably the, the best card to flash back with Dark Dwellers if you're not trying to gain a little card advantage with Kolagon's Command. So that's pretty nice. Uh, three roasts, again, trying to kill big stuff. Uh, I have Aggressive Darkness, which is not super easy on the mana base, but I think it's okay, especially if you only play one. And it's just kind of a nice card to have to make them play around. And then we have a few one mana spells that we're trying to use to trigger our Jory N. Uh, added one Big Magic Insight to help with the delve and also increase the land count as a response to that. Uh, kind of wanted a 26 land anyway. And then for the sideboard, counter spells, disdainful stroke, uh, mostly against things like ramp, also pretty good against rally, dispel, good against rally, and some versions of a Tarka red. Two infinite obliterations. Uh, I generally don't like this plan against rally. I feel like sweepers plus uh, counter spells is generally good enough to beat them, but uh, this deck was a little weak to the bushwhacker versions of a Tarka red, so I'm playing Kozilex Return instead of Radiant Flames, which might be a mistake because that leaves me a little weaker against rally. Uh, but I do have more bodies to actually block their stuff, so I don't necessarily need a sweeper against them. But yeah, uh, if I play against Rally, I'll probably board it in Obliteration. I won't be happy about it. I just kind of want to try it with this different configuration because uh, with Just Guy Black, and I think honestly most decks in general, like you can obliterate them and take their Cutthroats or Husks or whatever you want and still just die to their mediocre beats, so that's kind of why I wanted the sweepers. Um, and you also just have to stop collecting company anyway, so it's not like... Obliteration ever really KOs them like you're gonna want to counter their big spells so uh, and, and kill other stuff so like why even bother with the obliteration stuff because you don't need it but uh, I do like it against the ramp decks I like hitting world breaker with the first one probably Ulamog with the second and I, I think that plane is only good against ramp because you have dark dwellers and Jace if you didn't have ways to consistently flash it back then I don't think the obliteration plan would be worth it because one of them does never does not KO the the ramp decks ever uh, another painful truce for grindy matchups. 
couple transgressed the mines. I think I'm going to try boarding these in against Rally, but they're mostly there for ramp. Uh, a couple self-inflicted wounds, which are kind of like more roasts, except they're a little more targeted towards green decks, specifically things with Siege Rhino. Uh, Chandra Flamecaller at the top end. Love it. She is great. Basically does everything. And then the Kozilix Returns that I talked about. So that's about it. Uh, deck looks great. Uh, I'm feeling kind of medium, but we'll see how it goes.